Hi, so this is the second video in the series on percentages and it's working through the Edexcel GCSE Level C uh, grade curriculum and it is a calculator series of questions. Okay, this particular type of question deals with something that we haven't come across before which is the whole idea of percentage increase. Now when we're talking about percentage increase or percentage decrease um, really the thing that you need to remember is that all you're really looking for is difference divided by original okay so let's have a look through this particular question uh, we've got uh, in 2003 the shop sold 620 computers in 2004 they sold 708 work out the percentage increase in the number of computers sold so the formula you need to remember is difference over original well the difference is um, between 708 and 620 which is actually 88 computers so they sold 88 more computers in 2004 the original was 620 okay so if you multiply that then by 100 because it's out of 100 in other words a percentage increase that we're looking for then that will give you a total in your calculator of 14.1935 which um, they always have this sort of appropriate degree of accuracy. OK, I don't really know what that means, but I'm assuming that it would be something like 14.2%, which is really what they're looking for. I think that lends itself one nine, lends itself to 0.2%. Uh, OK, I hope that's been OK for you. On to question 11. OK, and that is calculate 36% of 4,500. Well, just as we have done in the previous video, we would say 36% is the same as writing 36 out of 100. Of means multiply 4,500. Plug that into a calculator and I'm going to get 1,620. OK, so 1,620 pounds is 35% of no, it's not. It's 36% of 4,500. OK, on to question 12. Now, you'll notice with this one, this is a little bit more involved, and they might try to throw you a little bit by using words like million. OK, but let's not worry about that too much. What we're saying is the population of uh, the European community was 376 million. Um, in 2004, in 2005 it had gone up to 451 million percentage increase again just as we did in question 10 we're looking for the difference over the original okay so the difference between 376 million and 451 million is actually 75 million and I'm just going to leave it at 75 because it doesn't kind of really matter to us because um, we're dealing, providing we're dealing with the same um, number of digits, then you can leave it. If you really wanted to put in the, the other six zeros that go after that, that's absolutely fine. It won't make any difference to the calculation. It just makes it look a little bit more complicated. So the original was 376 million. I'm just going to leave it at 376 because really, again, it's exactly the same fraction if I've got the same number of zeros at the top same number of zeros at the bottom is the same fraction okay um, and that's going to be of 100 because we're looking for a percentage okay give your answer correct to one decimal place well if I calculate that it comes out 19.9468 okay so it's so a one decimal place that's going to be 19.9 percent okay I hope that's been okay for you all righty on to the next question I'm very aware I'm rattling through these but if you do need any help please do contact me directly I'd be more than happy to add a little bit more detail or produce another video for you so the cost of a radio is list price is uh, 240 pounds and we've got VAT at 17 and a half percent okay so it's 17 and a half percent 17.5 percent of 240 and that's going to equal 42 it's exactly the same as putting into the calculus 17.5 out of 100 multiplied by 240 and therefore it means that the total cost of the radio is going to be the VAT of 42 added to the original cost of 240 so the total cost of the radio is going to be 282 pounds okay on to question 14 and question 14 Linda's mark 
in the maths test was 36 out of 50. Oh my goodness me, that's quite a good mark. So find 36 out of 50 as a percentage. Well, 36 out of 50 can be written like that. Multiply it by 100 to get it out of a percentage, and that's going to be 72%. You might have noticed that actually that's just if I multiply that by 100, uh, multiply that by 2, I get 100, multiply that by 2, I get 72. So therefore, it's 72%. Okay, on to the next one with a little bit more words in this particular question and you're going to make sure that you're uh, following it because there's a reduction here of 20%. So in other words, what they're saying is what is £36.80 minus 20%? Well, in order to do that, we need to find out what 20% of £36.80 actually is. So again, plug into your calculator 20% of £36.80 and you'll find that should equal out at £7.80. 36. So in other words, the sale price of the dress is going to be £36.80 and we're going to minus £7.36 away from it and that's going to give me £29.44. So the sale price of the dress is £29.44. OK, and then on to the final page of this particular series. There's two questions that we're going to be working through. And the first one is William's salary of 24,000. He has an increase of 4%. Work out his new salary. Well, really all we're going to be doing is working out 4% of 2,400. No, 24,000. <laughs> okay, same as saying 4 out of 100 of is multiply 24,000. Plug that into your calculator. You're going to get 960 pounds. Okay. Add that to the original 24,000 salary, and his salary now is going to be 24,960 pounds. Okay, final question in this particular video is question 17. Okay, question 17, it talks about mobile phones, and again, it's one of these percentage increase ones, so the formula you need to remember is difference over original so as soon as you see percentage increase or percentage decrease it's difference over original okay well the difference in this particular case is going to be six because there's six more phones sold in May than there was in April and the original in April was 85 okay and again we're looking for percentage so it's going to be of a hundred out of a hundred and uh, plug that into a calculator and it's going to give you 7.0588. OK, don't lose the final mark on this because it says to three significant figures. So if I write this to three significant figures, this is my third significant figure. It's going to change because of the fourth and that's going to be then a percentage increase of 7.06%, so 7.06%. Okay, now I appreciate that it's gone through very, very quickly on this particular question, um, or this particular series of questions. Please don't hesitate to contact me um, if you require any more help or any particular question that you'd like a bit more explanation on, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.